Hello everyone. This is the 6th episode of the podcast series and in this episode we will discuss that how is blockchain relevant to self-driving cars. So self-driving cars which were only a distant dream that we saw in science fiction movies a decade ago are getting closer to reality now more than ever. The two main components of realizing this vision are organizing the data required for machine learning and enabling the machine to machine payments for services like the internet of things economy will enable for things like tolls fuel payments etc interestingly enough there's another revolutionary technology that is at its nascent state that can help micro transaction cars the blockchain self driving cars could become a reality as soon as 5 to 10 years from now so to fully use the blockchain with self driving cars we should start looking at how we can incorporate the two technologies together self driving cars sometimes referred to as autonomous vehicles function by using sophisticated machine learning algorithms to ensure safety and security of the car and its passengers these algorithms go through millions of hours worth of using driving data and recognize patterns which are later used to make driving decisions But driving is not all these autonomous vehicles are going to do when they are production ready. In fact, autonomous vehicles would need to handle all their actions like being able to pay for their fuel charges, parking and other basic functions. This presents a unique opportunity for blockchains as they can help the development of autonomous vehicles in pooling data and also for a machine to machine payment. Designers for the core software behind the self-driving cars are facing a challenge while performing machine analysis on millions of hours of driver data. Since different parts of the process rely on different data sets, storing and organizing these data sets remains a considerable challenge. Blockchains can come in handy as at the core, blockchains are just distributed databases that are tamper resistant. Using blockchains to store the driving information makes sense because we do not want the training data to be compromised in any way this is to prevent against rogue bad actors at a particular design facility blockchains can help software makers get access to the data directly from the drivers thereby reducing the time it takes for information to be collected sorted and transmitted the primary use case for blockchains since the inception has no doubt been payments that do not have to rely on any intermediaries When Bitcoin started in 2008, its aim was to become a truly decentralized peer-to-peer -peer currency which would have the fast and cheap payments across the world. 10 years on, even though Bitcoin seems to have strayed from its goal, there are other ambition projects like Raid Blocks and IOTA in the cryptocurrency space that are working on enabling near instant and absolutely free payments. Both Raid Blocks and IOTA are making use of directed acyclic graphs data structures to ensure the fast and free payments. While Raid Blocks is focusing on peer-to-peer -peer payments, IOTA is aiming to becoming the backbone of the machine-to-machine -machine economy as a payment layer that could scale to millions of transactions per second. As the Internet of Things expands its reach, there's no doubt the microtransactions will need to be handled efficiently. For example, It makes little sense to pay 0.5 dollars fee for a 0.0005 dollar transaction. That is why transactions which need to be completely free. IOTA is working on a unique data structure called the Tangle to do exactly that. By making every user a node in the network, IOTA can scale to millions of transactions per second. This is going to be very important if autonomous vehicles are to manage their own expenses can be fully autonomous. IOTA is also planning to implement smart contracts in quarter 3 of 2018. Smart contracts would no doubt further make the process of making transfers more efficient. For example, the autonomous cars could come with their own methods like buy fuel and pay for parking which could be triggered based on the related sensor information. So that's it guys for this episode. If you have any queries, please visit our website www.blockchain-council.org see you all in next episode thank you